Stop. 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 All right, you keep going. You keep going. Oh, man, you're right. Didn't really realize it until this morning my son called me old. It was crazy. Welcome. Yeah. So, what's going on? Social events tend to happen or tend to start a lot sooner than near 30, like, as opposed to, like, you know, 12, 1 o'clock at night, 11 o'clock at night. I mean, that's, yeah. That's been started a couple years ago. I've been going to sleep at 8.30 for a few years now. showed a lot about our brotherhood from last year, how close we got together, and then wanting to come back and do it again. So, yeah. You had a really good year last year. What are you taking away from that, and where are you trying to expand on this year, even better? I just want to build on all of the faults that I had last year, uh, be able to play within the scheme and with the team, but also excel in, in productivity. In our room, all it is is about competition. So everybody want to eat and get it, get a way to get out there. But the competition is good enough, or we're we're close enough to compete and still be brothers at the same time. But we drive each other to get better every day. For you guys to be able to go into New Orleans and, and shut down Drew Brees and, and hold off Aaron Rodgers, and then of course Patrick Mahomes icing on the cake at the Super Bowl, uh, what did that do for your unit up front to have confidence and uh, you know Pat not to be able to step into his shoes and only give you the game? Uh, like like we like I said earlier, we worked better and better and better as the year went for last year, but can't really harp on that now because everybody gunning for us now. We just got to be able to press through and keep that same momentum we had. Don't let it uh, go out and linger. I mean, both sides of the ball, it starts up front. So for them to call us out like that, we got to be able to go hit each other in the mouth and make the best plays that we can make. So it just fired us up. Do you feel the intensity level was higher today on the first day of pads? For sure. It's every, every first day of pads is like that. But you got to be able to stack them, stack them, stack them, and keep going and let it roll into the season. It wasn't a large crowd, but it was a vocal crowd today. Did you feel that? This was a huge crowd compared to last year, for sure. So. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was fun. It was fun to be able to get the fans back into it and see them and know that they supporting us. It's, it's real good. Will, he's played for Todd Bowles for a little bit now. What is, describe what his unit is. What is his strength as a defensive coordinator? He's the type of defensive coordinator that I would run through a brick wall for. If he say, hey, if you hit it at this angle, it's going to fall down. I wouldn't second guess it. Always right? Always right. Just the way that he prepares, not only him, but the way that our whole defensive staff prepares. Uh, it's always on point. It's always they got the keys, they got the tips, they show us how to study, and then it became us becoming player coaches. So they showing us how to, not just our position, but the, every phase of the game of defense. Uh, we, we, we've heard the guys on the back end. We started with them last year about the grade bigger moniker, and it, it, it kind of progressed. You know, Devin seemed to embrace it. I don't know if that's something you guys embrace up front as well, or what does that what does that term mean? It's hard to ask me that. I just want to get my lunch pail, go to work. I don't care what it is. Whoop the man in front of you is my job. That's that's what I worry about. So do you guys do you guys have that? Do you guys kind of embrace that moniker too, or is it more the guys that get on the back end? If the defense going with it, I'm going with it too. So I don't know how to how else to answer that bad boy. Got a little taste. We got to be able to do it again. Got to be more productive as a defense in the playoffs this time. Next time going there. Where's your Super Bowl ring right now? Don, Don, Don said that he, he brought it to Brown. Mine is in the safe right now. I don't need to look at it. I got some pictures of it. Did you take a little bit of time to wear it? Carlton said he wore it for like 12 hours, took it off the shower. That was about it. I wore it. I swung my arm and almost hit the wall, and I put it in the safe. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's why it's in the safe. Can't lose it if it's right there. Yeah. Mike's brought in MLB National experts to say they've got three guys up front who are 30 or over now. How much they got left in the tank? What do you say to that? 
Hey, this is only my third year in the 3-4 defense, so I'm pretty young in this scheme. So however long they want me is how long they got me. Uh, I feel like it fits my suit, my body size, the way that I move around. Uh, give me a little bit more time to be more productive because it's strong points and weak points in the 4-3 compared to 3-4, for my size at least.